Thank you for being with us today. As we promised, we are providing a link where you will get all the Bible verses that deal with the term begotten in various ways. And we are providing you with even more. You can interact with our artificial intelligence assistant to find other details related to the Son of God in general. The assistant is trained to deal with queries about the term begotten. However, you can also get some little information about other things in the Bible. Please note that we are still developing our assistant. And we expect to serve you better in the near future. Please let us know what you would like us to include to help us serve you better. Here is a brief demonstration of how you can use the assistant. The link to the assistant is provided in the description. You can also find it here, https, www.weneoucedsethings.co.ke. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How can I help you today? Matthew chapter 26 verse 62 to 64. In Matthew chapter 26 verses 62 to 64, the high priest questions Jesus about the accusations made against him and urges him to respond to the testimonies presented by the witnesses. Jesus remains silent initially but eventually acknowledges that he is the Son of God and that the high priest will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. The word begotten is used in the Bible to describe the relationship between God the Father and Jesus Christ, specifically in the context of Jesus being the only begotten Son of God. In the New Testament, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16, John 3, verse 16, is a well-known example of the usage of the word begotten. It states, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here, begotten emphasizes the unique and special relationship between Jesus and God the Father. This term is also used in other Bible verses, such as 1 John 4 verse 9, which says, And this the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Again, begotten highlights the distinctiveness of Jesus as the Son. The Hebrew word translated as begotten is Elah. The first time the word Yalad is used in the Bible is in Genesis 3 verse 16. Genesis 3 verse 16 in the Bible says, To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe, with painful labor you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. The Greek term translated as begotten is G3439 the monogenes. The other Greek term translated as begotten is G1080 Geneo. For a complete list of Bible verses about the term begotten, please visit the following link, https colon slash slash when you seed settings dot co dot ke slash when you seed settings slash blog slash begotten. You're welcome.